and then it was just desolate. I just remember thinking about the times I'd had there. Butlins needed to change. The company began to invest in the ageing holiday camps and in a lavish marketing campaign. But back in 1987, it may have been an advertisement too soon. Uh, the sad part about it was when the advert came out, we had one or two customers who came up afterwards when they came on holiday and said, you didn't blow that shelly up, you put me in that time. That was a good advert, but a little bit before its time. By the end of the 90s, there were only three Butlins holiday camps left. At Minehead, Bognor Regis, and the original site at Skegness. But the company spent tens of millions of pounds to bring the facilities into the 21st century with modern hotels, a range of restaurants, and a new entertainment area called the Skyline Pavilions. Today, Butlins is playing host to a new generation of holidaymakers. Like Elliot Slatislavek, who's now visiting the resort his mum used to love as a child. Gisela was a regular at the holiday camps, and her film fanatic dad, Ken Shaw, would record every moment for posterity. I've been brought up on Buckwind. I have been brought up, and my dad used to film us religiously every year coming here. And we've got so much footage of being here. I used to love the Merry Mixer, and I used to always go on that all the time. And I love the fun fair. So much to do. You like going now, don't you, Ellie? On yeah, I really like it because I enjoyed the ride while you were in them plane things. My memories from when I was little, everything was really, really colourful. Well, I feel Butlins is injecting that colour back in again now. Gisela's father, Ken Shaw, died recently. For her, there was only one place that seemed right to lay him to rest. Well, my dad obviously had been coming a long time, and then when he passed away, I just thought, I need to take my dad's ashes here, because I, I know that's where he'd want to be and he'd be happy. So he's near the old listed shelly now. His ashes had been scattered there. In 2011, Butlins attracts over a million visitors a year. On its 75th anniversary, the widow of the man who changed the face of the British holiday a lifetime ago returned to see Butlin's latest incarnation. It would be overwhelming to him that he'd gathered so many people together. When you think of millions of people that have passed through Butlin's, his legacy is bringing people together. Over the last 75 years, Butlins has become a British institution and touched the lives of millions of people. Whether they were performers, redcoats, or the people that really mattered, the holiday makers. Billy Butlins, he, he's given us freedom and some colour in our lives. I think he was a man who changed the way we think. People started thinking all year about the next holiday something they'd never considered before. It was complete escape from normal life because everything was done for us. It was a complete change of lifestyle for, for just one week. It was a week where we had the freedom, we made our own decisions and we did what we wanted to. It, it has a very special place in my heart, for sure.